Ariel Helwani in Las Vegas alongside Jermaine Durandamy, who meets Amanda Nunes for the UFC Women's Bantamweight title this Saturday night at UFC 245. Jermaine, it's great to see you. Uh, what a big fight, what a big moment, what a big week for you. You know, Amanda told me something that was interesting on Monday. She said she actually wanted this fight to be at 145, but in the end it ended up being at 135. Why is that? Uh, I believe, first of all, I believe uh, when we were supposed to fight, I believe that was almost three years ago and right now after the Holly fight. It was supposed to be a 135 because she was at that and the 135 champion. Um, yeah, 145, there's only two girls signed at 145 and I have no interest in that fight. I believe 135 is an active weight division. I've always said it, I go back to 135, stay at 135. And again, nobody took the belt from me besides the UFC. Right. So, 135 it is. And one of the interesting storylines going into this um, particular fight is, you know, you getting another crack at a belt. We thought maybe for a while you wouldn't get another crack. Having to relive all of that, the, the unfortunate circumstances surrounding that, that situation, has that been frustrating for you? Has that been tough? No, because I honestly, honestly, and I believe every, every living soul in this room never believed that I could get another title fight. Even I didn't believe so. And honestly, Ariel, I could care less about the belt. I want to fight the very best. And to, to fight the very best, to become the very best, you first got to beat the best. You know, the belt is just a trophy. It will get dust on it, you know, at the end of the day. But what I've done in my fighting career can never be wiped away. But the belt is just a trophy, you know what I'm saying? I want to fight the very best. And now I get the opportunity to fight the very, very best. And every fight brings its own kind of pressure. But in this particular regard, you could beat the woman that everyone's saying is the GOAT, right? The greatest of all time. Yeah. You beat her on Saturday. It's almost like what happened a couple years ago gets washed away, right? It, it, it could redefine your legacy. Do you view it in that regard? No, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. That's not crossing my mind. Like I said, I just want to fight the best, you know, the very best. And you know what? No matter if I win or lose, I still stay Jermaine. The always same Jermaine. And I, when I get back, I go to work, you know, and do what I love to do. And then get back training, you know. I just want to inspire people to do, that they do what they love to do. And I'm me. And I will always stay me. I don't have a GOAT status or a legend. I don't, I don't, I could care less about that. I just want to inspire people to do what makes them happy without hurting people. How are you so happy all the time? Always so smart. What bothers you? Does anything make you upset? Does anything make you mad? Uh, yeah, of course. But at this moment, not. You know, it, like I said, a fighting career is this short. You know, if you look in a lifetime, it's very short. I have a pretty long career already. I've seen everything. It's just a waste of your energy to not enjoy it. But I have days too, and I'm like, I don't want to do this, or I feel not, not, you know. But there comes a point you're like, okay, now I put my shoulders underneath it, and I'm going. You know, because there are things I can't control. I cannot control the result of Saturday. You know, I'm not in control what the judges decide. If I make a mistake, yeah, she can capitalize on that mistake. If she makes a mistake, I can capitalize on that mistake. The only thing I could control is how I prepare myself for this fight. And I did everything I could. And I will leave it all in there. And no matter what happens, I walk out that tunnel with a smile. If I win or lose, I walked back with a smile because I did it my way. So many people doubted me, but I did it my way. It's amazing. It matters. It's inspiring. Um, let's end on this. You fought her around six years ago. It did not go your way. It lasted around four minutes. What is the difference between that Amanda and this Amanda? Because I don't think a lot of people would have expected back then that she would turn into the fighter that she's become this potential goat, if you will. What do you see when you compare that Amanda that you fought to this Amanda? Well, I, I don't think you can compare them at all with each other. I mean, she, if she's she been on a wreck, you know, she's been knocking people out left and right. You cannot compare that to this Amanda, you know. I'm fighting a completely different Amanda, and Amanda is fighting a completely different Jermaine. So that's the difference. Six years, and we're going to have some fun again. I look forward to it. Best of luck to you. Thank you, as always, for the time. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, it's Ariel Hoani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.